car less seven a i'm here what's cracking okay today's video make sure everything's off for like all right today's video is going to be a brand new makeup tutorial for a back to school jump rope please today i will be doing a picture perfect makeup tutorial for a picture perfect picture day and a picture perfect picture for your ids for school and a picture perfect picture if you need to take a picture in general okay you need to store a selfie okay you need to be picture perfect so we're going to get straight into it i want to make this tutorial not too long i feel like my makeup tutorials have been extra long recently but i'm I have a lot of details to give you in these, okay? First things first, so I'm gonna start with my Smashbox Photo Finish Face Primer. Ooh, does it wanna focus though? Oh, there it go. Yes. We're gonna put this on all over. And I mean all over. Put it on your eyebrows, put it on your eyelids, girl. So from there, we're going to put on a base of foundation. I use the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna in the color 370. This is my go-to foundation, and I will be putting it on with a uh, Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. All right, hey. from there, I'm just going to do the eyeshadow and the concealer. So I use the Fenty Beauty, double it up under the eyes, put it on my eyelids, and I also blend that out with a beauty sponge. So the Fenty Beauty is my foundation, my concealer, my eyelid primer, it is three in one. As usual, I will be setting with my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder underneath my eyes and on my eyelids. All right, y'all. So since we just love Aaliyah so much, especially me, I'm going into my Aaliyah for MAC makeup palette. Okay, okay. And what we're going to do is take this middle shade, that shade right there in the middle. It's kind of like a light browny color and I'm going to work that in my crease. And look at that warmed up crease, perfect. We're gonna take that brown color right next to it. Okay, right there, okay, yes. And what we're going to do is put it on the outer half of our eyelid and work it in our crease a little bit. What I like about her shadow palette is it's just like the perfect browns on my skin tone and it really defines my eyes perfectly. the crease and the outer half of the eyelid because that first color was our transition shade so this is going to make our eyelids look really nice and just big and bold and just awake in pictures which I really like we will go back into this palette later but for the lid color today we are going to take hmm, hmm, hmm. This like light pinky color, not light pinky, but it's like this pinky color right there at the bottom, that bottom middle shade. We're just going to take that and put that all over our eyelids. You guys already know pink makes brown eyes pop because brown and pink, they just go. Okay. And you want your eyes to pop in pictures and you guys know my eyes are dark brown. So this is going to help make it pop in pictures. That brown against the pink just really makes it pop. All 
And then I'm gonna take that color that we used to blend our second shadow color with and just blend the colors together. From there, since false eyelashes are literally just like the annoying step of the makeup for me, I'm just going to put them on, get it over with. I'm using my Demi Wispies by Ardell and the Duo Eyelash Adhesive. All right, you guys, so from there, I'm just going to fill in my brows. As you guys can tell, the glue on my false lashes are still drying. That's why it's a little bit white, but I'm just going to brush them up, shape them, and then fill them in. I outline my brows with the darker color, fill them in with the light brown, and I use the Anastasia Brow Powder Duo in the color Chocolates. Great, 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 great. Now we're going to start really getting into our face makeup. So I'm going to take my Fenty Beauty Match Stick in the color Truffle. So this is like a chocolatey brown cream contour. So we're going to just put that on our cheekbones. And I'm just going to blend this out with an angular brush so this is a real technique sculpting brush and i'm just going to blend this out lightly going into my anastasia contour powder kit i'm going to go on with the darker contour color well actually i'm going to go on with the lighter contour color first and just go over that cream contour Then on top of it, to define my contour a little bit, I'm going in with the darker contour right here. And I'm just gonna put that on the outer half of my cheekbone and just slowly blend that up and in. For blusher, I'm going into my deck of Scarlet Dream palette and I'm taking the color Tiara. It is just the prettiest pink ever. And this pink kind of matches the pink that we put on our eyelids. So, yep, I'm gonna just put this on. I will be using the highlighter that's in this same palette. So, I'm just gonna put that on my cheekbones, a little tiny bit on my chin, right above my um, brows here. And then I will tell you where I put the highlighter with my smaller brush after I do this, so. Oopsies, and one more thing before I forget, underneath my eyes I'm going back into the Anastasia Contour Kit and taking these lighter shades and just putting that directly underneath my eyes. Cause I always like to set the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. And I'm glad I did that last cause I broke out a little bit right here and I don't wanna emphasize that with highlighter. So that covered that up a little bit. And now I'm just gonna go in and highlight my chin like I said. Oh no, 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 no. I'm doing everything backwards. Okay, then I'm going to put on my Sephora Press Powder in the color Toffee Peach all over the face that, all over my face where I haven't set, which is these areas, and then my forehead. So now I'm going to go in and highlight right above my brow bone on my temples just to add a nice shine when the light hits in pictures. 
Then taking my smaller, more precise brush, I'm going to highlight the tip of my nose here, the bridge of my nose, and then right on my brow bone. Then right underneath my eyes, going back into my MAC for Aaliyah palette, I'm going to take that smoky like brown color right here and I'm just going to dust that on my lower lash line just to like open my eyes up, you know, it's, but don't put it like super high up on your lower lash line, put it a little like underneath it. You see how that like I did that so it like makes my eyes look bigger and I only brush it about halfway along my lower um, lash area. All right, looking good and smoked out. So then from there, our makeup is looking on point. We're going to set with the Urban Decay D Slick Setting Spray. And then right on top, I'm going to put my Rose Water Setting Spray. So y'all already know I'm about to swap out these little studs for my hoop earrings right about now. As for mascara, I will be using my Urban Decay Perversion. And this is just the blackest mascara. I'll be putting that on my lower, my upper and lower lashes. <laughs> All right, so now for lips, I already have on a lip balm. I'm just going to rub the like outer corners of my lips where the foundation got on real quick. All right, so I'm going to line my lips with Cork Lip Liner by MAC. For lipstick today, I will be using the MAC lipstick in, Crip in Crim, Shin, Crim Shin Modesty. And it's like a shiny pink color. I think it will look really good. Well, it does look really good with this eyeshadow. All right, you guys. And that is my picture perfect picture day makeup tutorial for back to school and in general like this is just perfect makeup to take pictures especially like i said if you have brown eyes this pink look is going to make your eyes really pop so i really hope that you guys enjoyed be sure to follow me on my social media if you don't already follow me on instagram follow me on snapchat so you guys just have like the head starts on knowing everything that i'm doing in general okay also be sure to thumbs up this video Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are not subscribed already. And leave me a comment down below of any future video requests in general, whether it's for back to school, fall, anything, anything, okay? And I will catch you guys in my next one. Bye!